behalf of Professor Jing Han, I would like to welcome you um, here um, in Paramatta, which is the traditional land of the Baramatical people of the Darug Nation. And it's my great pleasure to introduce Professor Kevin Dunn, who will give us the welcome note. Professor Dunn is Professor in Human Geography and Urban Studies and Pro Vice Chancellor of Research at Western Sydney University. His areas of research include migration and settlement, Islam in Australia, the geographies of racism, and local government and multiculturalism. So here is Professor Kevin Dunn. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you all here this morning. I am, as Nick says, Professor Kevin Dunn, Pro Vice Chancellor of Research at Western Sydney University. It gives me great pleasure to be opening this uh, much awaited two day symposium. Uh, before we go any further, let me say, Budiri Mulanaro. Warami, which is to say good morning and hello or welcome in the local language of the Aboriginal people where I live, and that's the Darug. And I thank them for the gift that is this land where I'm located today and acknowledge them as the custodians of these lands. And as a matter of cultural protocol and out of recognition that Western Sydney University uh, occupies traditional lands of the Darug, the Gandagara and the Tharawal people, I acknowledge their stewardship over centuries uh, of the lands and rivers along which our campuses are located. And, uh, and I thank them, uh, the Darug, but also, as I say, the Gandagar and Farrell peoples for their support uh, for the work that we do, Western Sydney University in Greater Western Sydney, and I pay deep respect to any cultural, any Aboriginal people who are present here today and acknowledge that this was Aboriginal land yesterday. It is today and it will be tomorrow. On behalf of Western Sydney University, I'd like to welcome you to the Music and Spirituality Symposium running today and tomorrow as part of the Sydney uh, Sacred Music Festival. This is the 11th uh, Sydney Sacred Music Festival and my congratulations to the Institute for Australian Chinese Arts and Culture, ASEAD, in partnership with the School of Humanities and Communication Arts for hosting this component of the festival. Uh, the music you just heard um, uh, as we uh, introduced our event today was performed by Billy Han and Tony Wheeler on Chinese instruments traditionally associated with Buddhist and Taoist meditation. Uh, Billy Han uh, on the Chow, uh, an end blown bamboo flute, is a woodwind specialist originally from Yunnan, China. Uh, he's a member of the Chinese Music Ensemble of the Sydney Conservatorium. And thanks also to Tony Wheeler on the Guggen, a seven string zither. He's uh, an Asheville local who trained at the Shanghai Conservatory for many years and came back to Australia fluent in Chinese culture. Thank you to Billy and to Tony for that music at the start. This uh, music and spirituality symposium will be an exploration of the age old connection between spirituality, music and the related arts. And this year it's especially exciting with the showcasing of some of our finest high degree research, HDR students from the music and from also the music therapy streams at Western Sydney University other places. This is the focus for tomorrow's events, also in this Zoom channel. Uh, and, and during tomorrow, we'll hear from the latest in HDR research, high degree research, student research, into various aspects of music history, contemporary art, popular music, music pedagogy, music cognition, and applications of music as a form of mental and physical healing as well from our music therapy students in particular. That research is complemented by a selection of internationally regarded scholars from Western Sydney University, but also ANU and from Augsburg, in, uh, Augsburg University in Germany. Today though, today's agenda, we'll hear from an impressive lineup of highly regarded scholars, music and spiritual practitioners from at least 10 countries on the planet, at least 10 countries, Brazil, China, Germany, Iran, Italy, Japan, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, US, and of course, Australia. Among them, 19 universities in, and institutions represented in these discussions of music and spirituality. It is a feast, isn't it, of uh, research and reflection on music and spirituality. It's quite impressive. Uh, the themes that you'll see covered today, indigenous reflections from Australia and China, creativity and ethnography, innovation and tradition, ritual healing and transcendence intercultural connections et al. As well, uh, a formidable assembly of keynote panelists will draw on their expertise to comment on these themes. Uh, I highly commend this symposium, which brings emerging mid-career and established scholars and music practitioners together in a program that is thought-provoking, it's topical, and very importantly, spiritually nourishing at a time when I think we need it most. 
So I'd like to thank uh, Professor Diana Blom from Humanities and Communication Arts and Dr. Nicholas Nguyen from the uh, uh, ASIAC uh, and their respective committees for their time and effort in co-producing this wonderful event. It is packed full. So without further ado, it uh, uh, just falls to me now to declare the symposium to be open and underway. Thank you very much and enjoy. Thank you so much, Professor Dunn. It's a great honor to have you here to open our symposium and we hope you'll stay for as long as you can. I know you probably have a million other things to do. So see you again soon. So now to, um, to the whole assembly here, I'd like to introduce Richard Pekovic, who is the director of the Sydney Sacred Music Festival. Mr. Pekovic is a composer, performer and director of the festival and its resident ensembles, the Sydney World Music Chamber Orchestra and also the uh, Worlds Collide Ensemble. Richard works with local communities to encourage artistic creativity and has received various government grants aimed at developing multicultural arts in Australia. So here's Richard. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, uh, Professor Dunn, for your introduction. And hello, everybody. Uh, it's really exciting. Um, the Sydney Sacred Music Festival started 11 years ago. It started um, because of a wish to highlight the really positive nature of multicultural Australia. I'm assuming you can all hear me well. Is that okay? Can you hear me? Yes. yes great. Okay. Um, uh, as I said, it was started with a dream to showcase the positive nature of, of a multicultural Australia. I was kind of at the time sick of working in the community and hearing so many bad things about our diversity. So I wanted to create a, a festival that, no, no, like it aims for three things. One is about highlighting the hidden treasures in our community. Who would know that, you know, Dr. Nicholas Ning lives in Rydalmere, has got a family, plays an amazing old hall, is an amazing composer and works at the university. Not a lot of people besides his own little world, but we found we've been lucky to connect with people like uh, Nicholas, uh, um, Shorat Tourson, who we found as a truck driver in Western Sydney, but is a, a master of a thousand year old song cycles from the Wigger culture in uh, in on the Silk Road. So the festival has really been about showcasing those hidden treasures, about um, creating events in unique spaces, sometimes even more unique than Zoom, and about creating new work. Um, as Nick alluded to, we've created an orchestra, which has got 11 artists from 11 different cultural backgrounds, working together to create new Australian music. My passion is about place-based connections of music. Growing up in Western Sydney, for those who don't know, is very, is one of the most culturally diverse uh, regions in Australia and probably the world. And um, growing up, I was always, for want of a better word, ashamed of my cultural heritage and the music that it produced. It wasn't contemporary, it wasn't inclusive. Um, we were listening to Western music. So I've been on a bit of a mission since then to create music that includes our diverse cultures and to rebrand it as Australian music. Um, where else in the world can you find an orchestra that's got a Uyghur person, a Chinese person, uh, an Aboriginal vocalist, a Vietnamese classical guitarist, an Indonesian bass player, et cetera, et cetera, all working together. So um, that's been a real passion of mine is to create new work around this festival and for this festival to, um, as you are all doing with your presentation, to show people what's possible and what's out there. We have to let the world know this amazing music that's going on and the amazing humans are in our community. So I'm really passionate. I've been um, creating this work with Worlds Collide and it's under the banner of the Western Sydney Sound. So that's about creating contemporary music that works with our diversity to create and include these instruments, these genres, and these uh, people. It's not white people playing African jazz, it's actually people from those communities creating new culturally diverse music that is Australian. Why can't we have this music um, that is very exciting and innovative, and we want it showcased to a larger population. So we want it to be on all our fashionable youth radio stations, et cetera, et cetera. So that's my thing. The festival, as I said, is about showcasing and creating pathways 
for communities, for artists from diverse cultural backgrounds and for new work. We have to, um, I think, provide the vision to, so, to show people what is possible. Um, uh, most people don't get it until they see it. So that's been a real thing about mine. Um, again, a big thank you to the Institute and the Western Sydney Uni for being part of this. Thank you all for the presentations that we'll see shortly. Um, I would love to encourage, as I always do, being a person grounded in community, that if there's people you hear today that we're all passionate about and we're inspired by, why not let's get together and create a project for next year's festival. Um, it's, you know, you've got so many great things happening around you. Let's, my thing is about bringing these things together. I'm currently also working on a national touring network for culturally diverse music. So when we go to these different places that we have a support and an ecosystem for this music, this new genre of contemporary music that we're creating. And I think that's, uh, we need to look globally for that same thing. It's not, it's about um, connecting with like-minded people. All these people that are looking at, let us now, we're all like-minded. We not, might not believe in the same thing, but we do believe in something more than our own little worlds. We're looking at the greater good, at the, what, how we can, can, can connect. So hopefully you'll be inspired as I am already and reach out. Let's do something next year. You've got wonderful people around you and a wonderful support of the uni. And I look forward to hearing your, about your amazing projects. Thanks so much, everyone, again. And uh, thanks, Nick.